सो द नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट वी शुड नो इज द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ मिल्टन्स ब्लाइंडनेस ऑन पेराडाइज लॉस द ईयर सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी टू वॉज नॉट अ गुड वन फॉर मिल्टन मिल्टन्स आई साइट हैड बीन स्टिली डिक्लाइनिंग फॉर ईयर्स मोस्ट लाइकली द रिजल्ट ऑफ अनट्रीटेड ग्लॉकोमा बाय मार्च और अप्रैल एट द एज ऑफ फोर्टी थ्री ईयर्स ही वॉज कम्प्लीटली ब्लाइंड इन मे हीज वाइफ डाइड आफ्टर थ्री डेज गिविंग बर्थ टू दियर फोर्थ चाइल्ड एंड सिक्स वीक्स लेटर हिज थर्ड चाइल्ड द ओनली सन जॉन ऑल्सो डाइड It seems reasonable to believe that if Milton had never lost his sight Paradise Lost would have been a very different poem Milton's blindness was first thought to be curse against him but it really helped him to turn his imagination passionately upon the memories of colors which he had carried with him into darkness and took delight in giving to the obscure shades of hell and the vague glories of heaven Milton made hell a place of darkness and heaven a place of light and that he that he made evil a thing of blackness and goodness glorified bright in nearly every religion since the world began the good has been characterized by light and the bad by darkness It is however fair to conclude that his blindness affected the manner in which he used this ancient tradition of light and darkness he represents the blackness of hell and the brightness of heaven as his fear of darkness and craving for light hell is almost nothing but darkness god and heaven are pure light it seems clear that his cause of blindness definitely and appreciatively affected paradise lost so the next most important topic in the text paradise lost is good versus evil in the poem paradise lost satan was thrown out of heaven for rebelling against god and all that is good he was the archangel and is the most beautiful and perfect angel but he was not so perfect because he had flaws some of the flaws he had were pride that lead to ambition and jealousy that lead to deception the flaw that lead him to destruction was pride because since he was the most beautiful angel he believed he was the greatest in heaven he questioned why he should serve god and evidently lead a rebellion against god in a chance to overthrow him john milton divides the characters in his epic poem paradise lost into two sides one side under god representing good and the other side under satan representing evil and sin Milton first introduced the readers to the character Satan the representative of all evil only later did Milton introduce the readers to the leader and creator of all mankind that is God the introduction of Satan first lead the reader to believe acts of sin were good just like Eve fell in the garden of Eden when she was enticed by Satan to eat the fruit from the tree of knowledge The later introduction of the almighty had the readers changed their feeling towards sin as the ways of gods were introduced to them and these ways were shown to be the way to feel and believe this theme of good versus evil carried on throughout the poem with the interaction of satan and his fallen angels with god and his son in heaven so this is the video for today i hope you all understood and it will be helpful for you all